grew up loving movies and uh, wanting to make them. And I had a friend in LA who was a casting director named Joanna Colbert, who was one of my executive producer, producers. And uh, she uh, was working with Kate Lacey, another one of my producers, on a film called Step Up. They were casting it out of Disney in LA. And uh, they both realized they had Marion Doherty in common. Kate was her last assistant in 99 when she was let go. And uh, Joanna had interned for uh, Juliet Taylor, who was Marion's first assistant. So they were like, oh, we should do something on Marion. And Joanna coincidentally was having coffee with me that day, coffee bean in LA, and said, uh, hey, we could do something together. And I'm like, what? She's like, do you know who Marion Doherty is? And I said, no, I have no idea who that is. So, uh, but I'll go back to New York and I'll read about her. And I, I scoured the internet for anything on Marion Doherty other than the IMDb listing. And all I found was one article, an interview with a student from the University of Oklahoma. It was a few pages long. And it, it, it revealed a whole world to me. I think there's also a paragraph in uh, Peter Biskind's book about Marion, Easy Rider's Rachel Bowles, how she he had called her a one woman revolution out of New York, one woman casting revolution. And I did the interviews, and then uh, I would get transcribers to transcribe the interviews. I knew very, I, I knew the basic path of the movie. So then uh, I would highlight sections of the transcripts, and I would put them in. I would label them by topics, by sequences, and then we would start putting those sequences together, and they would be pretty massive. So one sequence I had, which was great, which was George Lucas, Richard Dreyfuss, Cindy Williams, and Fred Roos talking about the casting of American Graffiti. It was an amazing sequence. Uh, so, you know, all these sequences became modules, and, you know, we have hours and hours of these modules. Primal Fear, we interviewed Gabby Sidibe and Billy Hopkins about the casting of Precious, really emotional, great screen test. Uh, and then it was, okay, let's make a movie out of this, and uh, that, that became the, the difficult part. We just kept shaping and shaping. Uh, we edited uh, for about a year and a half, maybe a little more. There are specific ways of using clips that allow you to claim fair use on the clip. One, the movie's historical, it's educational, and we use the clips very specifically to illustrate the points that we were making. We try not to use them in any real creative ways that would have been outside the realm of fair use. So that's, I was very careful about that, and I've edited films in the past uh, where I've learned how to do that. So it hadn't really been an issue in making the movie.